This is Claire and I am at Maudsley State Park in Newburyport, Massachusetts filming a video for my channel Brilliant Botany, but this is what Michael is doing right now. 6.55 in the morning. Perfect time to go to the gym, but probably an even better time to go back to sleep. I guess we're not totally done with the snow this year. I don't think this is gonna stick, but it is snowing right now. Right, Kat? Right. Good morning, Toddly. Good morning. Welcome to your first day. Today is my first full day working here. Boom. So uh, let's get to work, I guess. I was just doing some reading about the legality of using Lego bricks in videos. Uh, I think we should do it. You know what I've learned? What? Nothing. I can't tell if we're allowed to do that or not. <laughs> Send that to me and I'll read it. Okay. I'll I did just it. read the whole thing though. Oh. And I, I it's guess it's ambiguous. I, just, I guess I just called you stupid. So the most recent blonde stripe design that we've done is the Queen. And before we did that one, we had uh, Abraham Lincoln. And the original one was Einstein. And we've heard from a lot of people that they wish that they could get a shirt with the Einstein design on it. So we're thinking, maybe we'll do another run of the Einstein shirt. The problem is, we need to make sure that we can move enough of them to make it worth the cost of printing. So the magic number is about 50. If you are interested in getting an Einstein shirt, please let us know in the comments. We're gonna use it sort of as an informal survey to gauge whether or not we have enough interest to go through with ordering another round of these shirts. I mean, just look how great it looks on me. I mean. Don't you want to look this fantastic? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just let's just look at some view counts on on these videos that we've uploaded recently. Uh, you know, two thousand seven hundred, eh, three thousand two hundred, three thousand four thousand two hundred. It's probably because that one had Charlie in it. Three thousand eight hundred. It's because that one had Abby in it. Uh, but you know, it's like high twos, low threes consistently. Um, so what happens when you upload a video that has the word boob in the title? I watch it 6,000 times. 7,200 views, Todd. It's just refreshing. Does that count if you refresh it? I don't know. Huh. Because well. then people could just have bots that Yeah, I guess so. Boost up and I there. guess uh, IP addresses would be a thing. Keep track of. So that was a lie. It wasn't me then. YouTube also thinks that that video only has two comments on it, but yeah. if you click on it, like uh, there videos. are many more than two. Okay, I just finished adding this very special feature to the After Effects file that we use in the vlogs. Uh, so when the achievements pop up at the bottom of the screen, we've had a few instances where data was entered incorrectly in there and it was still like an X, which is the default placeholder or something. So now there's an error message that pops up until uh, Caitlin goes in there and plugs in some real numbers. Mm -hmm. Until like, Caitlin goes in like, there and plugs in some real numbers. Like this. Oh, bam. Todd vibes two. Yep. So now if there is something that isn't a number typed into those fields, it'll bring up that red screen again. Hopefully that'll cut down on the number of times that uh, we accidentally upload something wrong. Like that. Hopefully yeah. That's, yeah. That's, a, that's a number. Alrighty. It is 5.30 o'clock. Does the O and o'clock, it's a shortened version of of, right? It's five of clock. That sounds dumb. Anyway, today was productive. Finished sound on an episode of Crash Course Sociology. Created that error message for the what I'm doing right now After Effects file. Emailed Joshua Voiles to try to set up a Skype call with him. Got a vlog uploaded. And we got a hard drive of footage off to uh, a client in Salt Lake City who wanted footage of a woodcut being made that they had Claire Emery do. So we filmed that for them and then sent that off today. We sent out three shirt orders today. And some Patreon perks. And some Patreon perks. And then uh, we got Todd a debit card.
from the bank so that he can <laughs> give money to the post office when he ships things. And I, I went to the gym this morning. You were so productive today. I still would like to go for a jog. Outside? Uh, maybe. It seems okay yeah, it seems for jogging. Okay. If I could fit some video games in tonight, that would be good. One thing that I would like to do now that I'm working in the cinema office instead of the complexity office uh, is set up a portion of my workday that is actually dedicated to Twitch streaming. And I'd like that time to differ depending on the day of the week. So like some days maybe Twitch will be the first thing that I do in the office for an hour or two. That would be like 8 a.m. Pacific time. Other days it might be like the last part of the day. So that depending on where people are in the world, they can tune in to the Twitch streams that work best for them. <gasps> huh? <sighs> People in the comments say that you yawn a lot. I know. Maybe it's just whenever you pull your phone out is when I yawn. My phone is just so sleepy. Yeah. Today, my evening, this evening, has been graced by a wonderful presence. Marcus, you've come over to play Zelda on my television. Yeah! Otherwise, I would have just been playing Zelda on my television. Or anywhere, because the Switch. <laughs> I won today, I mean, you can't because nowhere has them still. Now I look like a jerk in front of the whole internet. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to like tempt you with my... <sighs> look, internet, if you want to come over and play Zelda, I feel really bad. <laughs> oh, it, but they're gonna see... I've got like armor and weapons and stuff that people don't want to know about. You should you gotta put like a warning on this. Spoilers? Yeah, like just pixel my gear. I can pixelate anything you want. Okay, it's not... Well, I don't want to make more work for you, of course, but... It's not exactly late game gear, but I want to be delicate with this. Or, you know, like the number of hearts that I have, considering it's not the traditional Zelda number to max out at. Six fifty-one in the morning. It's below freezing again. Oh, it's not fun. Going to the gym is fun, though. Let's get pumped up. Oh, I need my seatbelt, but I can't reach it because my arms are sore. Monkey bar. Geese. Kelsey, your shirt says paddle me. Kelsey. How many did you get to? I finished the set of eights all the way through, so that is like 90 total reps. I finished it all, but I did skip one set of lunges. Mm. But I did the entire thing. So that's 122 reps of each exercise. Uh -huh. But I do weigh 90 pounds more than you do. You're a... Uh, Lunges go faster than mine do. But each lunge requires me to lift 90 more pounds. But that also means you have the muscle structure to lift 90 more pounds. I don't I think don't. that my muscles are adept at lifting my weight as yours are at lifting your weight. Uh, I don't know. The last time I was regularly going to Monkey Bar, I weighed about 25 pounds less than I do. I feel the difference. Lunges didn't used to be this hard. Burpees didn't used to be this hard. I started off doing the hardest level of everything. Oh, I saw it and I was like, that's not gonna last. <laughs> it didn't. Now it's time to start the day. So for k Tectonics, we shot some of an episode on this VHS tape right here that Todd has. And we're currently trying to figure out how to get the video off of this onto this. And it's complicated. <laughs> you gotta like play it on this, yeah. onto a different thing, and then from there onto a... DV cam, the format of the aughts. Oh my. Mm -hmm. So we're transferring it from VHS to DV cam, and then from DV cam to uh, hard drive? To hard drive. So, I mean, it would definitely lose the quality, <laughs> which is kind of what we're going for, I guess, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. I logged into Dropbox, and it popped up this thing that says Dropbox has a fresh look. New design makes it easier to find, organize, and share stuff, and then it invites me to start the tour. But if I don't want to take the tour, I, I can't not take the tour. I have to take the tour, Todd. I guess I'll take the tour. Here's the thing that makes things go up and down. Here's the thing that shows you um, a thing. Oh, I actually have to click it for it to go. Yeah, whatever. Okay, I'm done. Thank you for forcing me to do that. Time well spent. Wasting my time, Todd. Mm. Are you ready, Caitlin? I'm ready as I'll ever be. Are you ready, Sarah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, we just finished filming. We got all of the indoor stuff of Kate Tectonics episode four done. Thank you, Sarah Miesmer. You just locked yourself in. <laughs> that, yeah, there. That's how you get out. Okay, right. bye. So the workout that I had to do at Monkey Bar Gym today was 15 kettlebell throws, I think they're called. You sort of squat down with a kettlebell between your legs and then thrust forward to bring the kettlebell up to eye level and then back down. So 15 of those, 15 burpees, if you don't know what those are, you can Google it. And then 15 <laughs> deck squats, which are you're standing up and then you sort of sit down and then roll onto your back and then roll forward and stand up again. So 15 of each of those followed by 30 yards of walking lunges, 15 of which are done forward and 15 of which are done backward. And after you do that, you go back to the kettlebells again and do 14 of those, 14 burpees, 14 deck squats, 30 yards of walking lunges, and then 13, 30 yards, 12, 30 yards. And what destroyed me today was the backwards lunges. Those just tore up my quads so that now they feel like hamburger meat and I can't stand up. I can stand up. It's just, it's hard to stand up. But I guess I'm glad that I went because this is the first day that I can remember in a long time that I've gone to a gym two days in a row. This is not including going to the fitness center to use the treadmill. This is first time in, in a while that I've gone two days in a row to do resistance type workout stuff. Like gym gym? Gym gym. You could go tomorrow and that would make it three. It would make it three, but I can't go four days because on Thursday morning at 6 a.m. I'm flying to Amsterdam. That's a, that's a really early flight. It is a very early flight, but Stefan is on my flight. Ooh. I don't think Are we're you gonna sitting sit together. together? Uh, I don't think we're sitting together. I think we all need more Stefan in our lives. We do need more Stefan in our lives. But he had to like fall in love and yeah, go live with, with her that, and stuff. with that girl. It's her birthday today, by the way. It is. <laughs> Happy birthday, Nicole. Happy birthday, Nicole. Happy birthday to you. Not that you can see this very well right now, but I'm holding a little space heater that Todd let me borrow for my basement cave at Complexly. Tomorrow morning, Todd is leaving on a little vacation. He's taking his RV down into Idaho and then over into Oregon, and I think back up into Washington and then back over here to Montana. But since I don't need this thing in the Complexly cave anymore, delivering it back to Todd in his RV. Hi, Kelsey. Hi. How are you? Cold. Look at this Todd mobile right here. It is no longer the Tioga, it's just Oga. Oga. Hello. Hello. Come on in. Here's a heater for you. Thanks, bud. Mm -hmm. It's getting warm at night. I remember this RV. Yeah. It's uh, going on a voyage tomorrow morning early. Here, would you like one of these? Oh, thanks. What for happened me? to this? Well, it fell out of the cupboard and then did that. Is but it it's safe to drink. You're fine. What I'm curious about is when you have this whole thing to yourself, do you still sleep up there? No. Uh, this is by far the, the most comfortable. Todd, have a good trip. Can I do this? Okay, what? And leave, leave them wondering. Oh. 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 oh